Yo, what's going on guys? It's Lucky and today I'm going to be showing you how to stream on a dual PC setup without the need of buying an expensive capture card and it's very simple to do this so I'm going to walk you through how to do it. So the first two things you're going to need is two downloads which will be in the description and I'm going to show you guys now how to install it. So what you want to go and do is go to this website which will be linked in the description by the way. So one is a link to GitHub with the NDI software and then another one which is here at the bottom I don't know why I've got two tabs open but yeah I'm gonna close one so anyway what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to this website it will be in the description and first before you even do anything make sure you guys install the runtime which is linked down here at the bottom so your page will load like that just scroll down look for this here which is download and install the NDI 3.5 plus runtime that is needed to run NDI so make sure you do that so all you have to do is just click that it will instantly download it as you can see there I've already got it so I'm going to discard it so once you've done that you will have it there and then what you want to do is make sure you download one of these um, I would preferably click the second one just because it's more up to date and it's an EXE so it's very simple to set up with an EXE so make sure you guys download that one and then once you've done that stick them both in a folder just to make it a lot easier and if you ever have a problem with it you can just uninstall it and you know what it is because it's already in a folder waiting there to be reinstalled so now you should have the two files which you've just downloaded from the site and next what you want to do is double click and run the runtime you want to click I accept the agreement click next just install it to default and just keep clicking next and then eventually install and then it will install by itself once that's done then we'll move on to the next step so now that's finished then you can just click finish and then install the OBS NDI 4.5.3 that is the latest version just click run install that click accept again and just install to all the defaults mine already exists because I have it already but I've un uninstalled most of it um, just so this can somewhat work in real time um, so I'm gonna click yes on that that shouldn't pop up for you but if it does just click yes and then just keep clicking next and then install and eventually it will do it okay guys so for whatever reason this decides to cut out and actually not include the rest of the video so whilst I'm editing this I'm gonna go back and give you guys the next step so once you've followed the last steps make sure you install NDI on both setups by the way so if you're on a PC and you've got another PC or a laptop make sure NDI is installed on both systems then you're gonna to wanna to go up to tools NDI output make sure you take main output I do it on both normally just in case it doesn't pop up so on streaming PC and on the gaming PC click main output and then just make a name so you can just type gaming PC so that will now activate your gaming PC over to your streaming PC but now you might be asking well how do I get the view of my gaming PC so what you want to go and do next is click the plus icon here underneath sources then go to NDI source and then I'm gonna leave this as a default name but change it to wherever you want click OK and now click on source name and then this would be technically my other instance of OBS so this is what it would be like on your streaming PC so normally you would click this but because I'm running two instances you know I have to click this one but when you're on your streaming PC you would search for this because this is your gaming PC so what you're seeing now is a gaming PC whereas this one will be on the streaming PC for instance so just click that and then just leave them all default you can click allow hardware acceleration I'm just gonna click it for this video and then click OK and now you should see my other screen pop up so this will be the streaming PC so now you can just right click transform fit the screen and that is pretty much it so we're gonna get a lot of screenception right now because I'm technically running two 
instances of OBS, but this is how it would work on a streaming PC and a gaming PC setup. So if this video helped you guys, make sure you slap a like on the video, subscribe and comment if it did work or if it didn't. If it didn't work, make sure you guys join my Discord and I will help you as soon as possible. I'm always very helpful when it comes to support and I have a lot of people coming from other videos that I've done on Logitech headsets and they've always asked me directly how do I do this and how do I get this to work and I've always helped them. So make sure you guys join the Discord and I will help you. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you guys very much and I shall catch you guys in the next video.